Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty-ish Kristen. Today, I have a massive undertaking. I am kitting up my diamond painting cross-stitch conversion pattern. It is called Geode. It is by a company called Electric City Stitches on Etsy. And the amount of colors it has is 136. It is a big boy. Uh, this is a picture of what it will look like. It looks like an awesome paint pour. Uh, I am very excited to get started on it, but first I have to put all of my diamonds in their containers. So this, when it is finished, will measure 121 centimeters by 117 centimeters. Uh, to do this because there is no way I can fit a canvas that size on any table I own. I have split it up into three canvases that are 43 centimeters by 118 centimeters. Uh, and I ordered those from Evermoment and the diamonds that I ordered are from DPF Handwork Store. And both of those are AliExpress. I am using my Art Dot storage, uh, the 240 bottle case, because it will fit all of my diamonds and all of their extras. So let me get my first layer out and we can get started. I already put the labels on these because I figured that would not be very entertaining to watch. Ooh, there's some glare on there. Uh, that's all right. So we will get this started and i am the pattern did work in pattern keeper so that is amazing because i don't think i could keep track of that many pattern pages uh on a paper chart i'm just not that cool so let's get started so i'm gonna move this to the side so i can work right here uh so what i did because the pattern did not have a, uh, what do you call it? it? It's not a typical diamond painting pattern, so it doesn't come with a, you know, a sticker sheet because it's mainly supposed to be used for floss. So I uh, imported the stitch, the, the color list and the pattern, or the, not the pattern, excuse me, the, oh my gosh, I am making a mess, woo, smooth. The symbols, um, I imported them into a document and then I printed them on sticker paper, uh, which really with working with Pattern Keeper, you don't need the symbol because you can search purely by DMC number and I have them in DMC order in the case, but I thought, let's just put the symbol on there just in case I ever need to reference the symbol to double check to make sure a color is correct. So it says online that these are dot containers hold 2000 drills. So some of my colors will need ooh, more space than others. Oh, there is so much static. Oh, that is not going to be my friend. Uh, so I have extra bottles that I will then pour them into and I have labels on a lot of them uh, so I will do that after I go through the original actually no nope change my mind change my mind I let me see so I will do this so I have that and I have so. I lied. I have extra stickers as well. And I will. So, see, I printed off two labels, two sets. Some of them I did make extra storage bottles for because. I knew that I had more than 2,000, but because I, you know, I ordered these online and there's no, 
Um, there's no guarantee that what you're ordering, I mean, I'm glad that they gave me more for sure, but oh, see, and now I have to fight with this on camera and be totally awkward, so. Oh my goodness. And my cat is now trying to get into my storage case. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, I see. Awesome. So, never mind the furry imposter. Get your butt, oh my gosh, get out! Holy moly. Seriously, they ignored me all day long. Okay, that's not gonna work. So, they ignored me all day long and now they want to get up in my business? That just figures. It's fine, right? It's fine, that's, a, that's what pets do. That is what pets do. So, I am not the person who came up with the cross-stitch conversion. I, I don't know who did. Um, but I have seen a lot of people on YouTube and Facebook uh, take on the challenge. And I thought, you know what? That looks really complicated. And at first I was like, yeah, there's no way in hell I would ever attempt something like that. Yeah, and then my brain goes, well, you know, you could. And... Yeah, and then I found myself browsing patterns. Okay, so this one, I know I need two bottles for. So I do have two bottles already labeled for that one, but I may need more than two bottles. That's a lot. So we'll see. Um, I found myself looking at patterns and I know a lot of people use heaven and earth designs. And for me, I just couldn't really, I don't know, I couldn't really find something on there that I really was like, I want to commit money and time to this. And so I kept looking and I kept looking and I didn't want to, you know, you can go on Etsy and there's a lot of unlicensed um, things that, you know, you could buy Disney patterns or which they're not technically licensed through Disney. So, you know, that is that is copyright infringement. And I'm not a super big Disney fan anyway. So for me, that's not like, oh no, it's Disney. I, I don't really care about that, honestly. I'm not I'm not a Disney adult. And so I I don't I don't really care about Disney. So for me, I was like, I just want something that's kind of different. And I saw this and I was like oh my gosh but I was a little hesitant because uh number one it's massive and it wasn't like a little you know small pattern to start with oh no it's it's a big boy so that was kind of concerning but I was like no it'll be fine it'll be fine and then when I actually got the the diamonds and the canvas. Well, the canvases, I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, that's, oh, I'm making a mess. That's, those are big canvases. They're, I, you know, I live in America, so we do things by inches. And so when you see things in centimeters, you kind of understand, but not really how many centimeters something is. And I was not prepared for that, um, but, and then I gotta also figure out how am I gonna connect these canvases in the first place because they, there's a lot of canvas. So I, so, but I kind of, you know, I was, I ordered extra drills, so I'm sure I will have more than enough diamonds in every color because I purposely made sure that I was ordering extras because there's nothing worse than being in the middle of a project and running out of a supply. And so 
I figured if I order them all at once from the same company, um, then I won't potentially have to worry about, you know, running out and then ordering new drills and then having them be, you know, a different dye lot or a completely different shade. Um, you know, not that in something this large, like it really matters probably, but you know, it's just, okay, that's good enough. I am not fighting with that anymore. Oh my gosh. You see the static on this? Look at that. They are just popping all over the place. Oh my gosh. Well, some people seem to think the more static means the better drills they are. So I am hoping that's the case because these are, oh my gosh. And I don't have any dryer sheets with me. Uh, poor planning. I thought I had everything I needed, but clearly I do not. It's fine, right? It's fine. So, anyways. So this will probably be uh, video one of three. And if the rate I'm going right now, oh, maybe more than that. Hopefully this is just a few isolated incidents. I'm just getting warmed up. Hopefully, oh my gosh, they're not even going back in there. Okay, use the fingertip. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think the canvases took maybe two weeks from when I initially, maybe three weeks, when I initially emailed Every Moment and I asked for a quote to when I got the canvases mailed to me. Uh, and then the diamonds took anywhere about a month. Um, and I got everything except for there was one bag that I had all the bags, but one bag had no diamonds in it all. And I was like, oh man. So, and that's why I did inventory right away because I wanted to make sure I had everything so I could email them and say, hey, I got it, or uh, no, you're missing stuff. So. And the seller was really fast to respond to me and you know, asked me if I needed anything else. And it's like, no, I just, just literally need the one color. I don't think my husband will let me order another 200,000 diamonds. Um, so yeah, no, I'm good. Cause this pattern it says has, what is it? Um, 200, I think it's like 202,499 stitches something around that, that range. So yeah, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. So this should take a while. Although I was kind of, you know, I've seen other people online do mainly heaven and earth conversions. And some of those definitely are more, uh, they have a lot more colors and they have a lot more confetti in them, which you know, if you're new to diamond painting, um, confetti is when you have a lot of color changes in a very small area. And so, you know, if some people are doing a, you know, a two by six square, which would be 60 or six, excuse me, 600, um, squares total, which is not a very big area. Um, they have, you know, like 50 colors or 60 colors in it. So I was looking at the pattern on Pattern Keeper because I was like, I probably should actually look at it to make sure, you know, I have an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and there are actually, there's actually quite a bit of color blocking, which was like, okay, I was not expecting that at all. So, so I think it's going to be a good mixture of confetti and color blocking. So that's that'll be nice for sure. So this container right here, this is the first third. <laughs> I put them in 
three separate containers and I divided them up so uh, I can divide the videos up because I don't know how long it would take me to get up 138, 36 colors. And some of the bags towards the end, like with the the Ecru and the, the B5200 and the blank and the what, 3865 whites, there are some big bags. So there are a lot of those colors. So, and that was the one reason why I didn't order from Evermoment, be, from the diamonds at least, because for the, what is it, DFP, I gotta check my notes so I say the right name, DPF Handwork Store, they had, um, they had the B5200 and the Ecru and the Blanc which Evermoment did not have that. So Evermoment quoted me the same price for over what, almost 25,000 diamonds less that DPF Handwork quoted me for everything. And I didn't want to have to get the diamonds from like, okay, well, if I order these from Evermoment, but then I still have to get these three colors from somewhere else, well, you know, what if the sizing didn't match up? Or I just, I didn't want to mess with that, especially on my first conversion because, you know, it's, I don't want to scare myself off for them, especially on something this big. I mean, there's nothing worse than your drills not staying on your canvas and, you know, popping off when you barely move the canvas around. And with something that big, you know, you can only work on this so much of it at once. And so, because you have to keep track of the, oh, come out, the colors and the, the patterns, um, yeah, you don't want to be futzing around with a bunch of drills popping off every time you, you move it because you're going to be moving the canvas a lot. Oh, that one's super concave. Oh, look at that one. I hope that's just a an exception and not what they're gonna be like. I haven't seen many that are like that. Most of them have had flat bottoms, so let's keep it that way, shall we? Oh my gosh, this is so staticky. Okay, I may switch trays because this tray is brand new. It came from the Art Dot Storage container and it is not, it's not working for me, honestly. So we may change, we may change it up a little bit. So you're gonna go over there. You're in the timeout corner because you're making this difficult. So yeah, okay, let's see. Here is an add more zest tray. Let's use one of those because I know that one has been used and touched and seasoned, if you will. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I am planning on doing today is trying to get, oh my gosh, you see that static? Oh my gosh. Yikes. Yes. Sorry. I just dug the cat's mice from under the refrigerator. And they've already shoved one of them back under the refrigerator. just can't oh my gosh so some people could work out of all the, the plastic bags when they kit up a diamond painting but I, well number one if oh they're static then plastic bags just kind of make it worse and number two I have cats and they seem to think that anything plastic is theirs 
so I can't have a plastic cover on my diamond paintings. I can't have it anywhere near them because they will just gnaw on them, plastic bags like these. If I leave this and go in the kitchen to get something to drink, both cats would be on the table gnawing on them. It's just, it's ridiculous. You would think when you get sick from chewing on something and people have to pull pieces of plastic out of your backside because you've been chewing on things that you shouldn't chew on, you would think that mm, maybe I shouldn't do that. But no, 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 oh, nope. So they don't have that life skill, I guess. I, uh, come on. Go down there. Okay. There, that tray works a little better. At least it can funnel them a little bit nicer. So, I'm trying to think of the best. How to shove that down in there. But, and I don't like the funnels that come with these because they're always too big and too heavy and top. Like, they're too top-heavy. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Okay. Alright. That one was also a fail. That's how today is gonna go, isn't it? So I'm hoping I can get this done before everybody starts lighting off fireworks because... Anytime near the 4th of July, it, people have to celebrate our nation's birthday by, you know, trying to blow a small chunk of it up. So, I never quite, I never quite understood it. I've never been a super huge fan of fireworks, honestly, so... I just, I don't like the unpredictability of the fireworks. You know, they, they fly and they zoom and they kind of go towards your face and your head and it's just, I don't know. It's just a no thank you for me. Okay, so I did not make a bottle with 211. I think they gave me a ton extra, which I am okay with, but I did not already have a bottle made up, so I will put that. That one came off so much nicer, thank you. So put that one in there, and we'll put this one. Oh my gosh, wow. You can watch my videos for how not to kit up a diamond painting, because she's Louise. Yeah, I used to watch people doing this and I would think, geez, dude, why are they making such a mess? Can't they control their diamonds? Can't be that hard. Yeah. And then I realized, um, yeah, it actually can be. <laughs> it really can be that hard. It's not, it's not as easy as some of the, you know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes they go in great and you know, there's no static and they they don't spill all over and it's just like phew, funnel, funnel, funnel. I just uh, kitted up Tweety. Uh, it's electric from Diamond Art Club and that like, there was no static. It was amazing. And I was like, this, this is what it needs to be like because it was amazing. It was the, no static. I don't think I had any drills that had static. They all went in super nicely. There were no stragglers. It was just boom, 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 done. This, not so much. And I'm hoping it means that these are, you know, really good, awesome, high quality drills. They are resin, which is nice because the resin drills do fit nicer together. So, all right, 225. So this has some really pretty colors in it. I, I originally, um, I bought it and 
you know, I had emailed the seller and I said, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm going to try to do this as a diamond painting. Does your patterns work in pattern keeper? And she said, Oh my gosh, yes. You know, of course they work in pattern keeper because you know, you can't keep track of 60 something pages. Um, and then a few days later, I was looking at the list and I realized that in diamond painting, they use the same, you know, thread color charts as cross stitch and other, you know, thread embroidery type things. And I realized that the pattern used a lot of DMC's numbers that are from one to 35. And if you've been diamond painting for a while, you know that they don't make diamonds in DMC one through 35. And I think there were maybe 20 colors. And I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to sub, I'm gonna have to find substitutes for all of these. And the problem I was then quickly discovering was that, oh geez, was that um, a lot of the, you know, the, the better substitutes were either numbers one through 35 or they were already in the painting. And so I'm just, I was sitting there going, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? This is, you know, is this gonna make it look bad? I don't wanna spend a bunch of money and time and effort on this and then have it look not good. And then the seller actually contacted me and said that I had, you know, kind of sparked her interest about the diamond painting and she found out that they don't have the DMC one through 35 and she retarded it for me without me even asking. I was blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, you are my favorite person in the entire world right now because <laughs> I was trying to figure out like, how am I going to do this? This, this is gonna be a disaster. I, I don't know if it's gonna work. I might, you know, I might just need to bag it and pick a different pattern. And she did it for me and I was super appreciative. And so if anyone is interested in one of the patterns from Electric City Stitches, and I will link her Etsy shop uh, below, and you mentioned that it's a diamond painting, I'm sure she would be willing to take a look at, you know, the patterns and she's got some amazing ones. It was so hard for me to choose. I, there were so many really colorful, just ab, I mean, just the abstract art. It just, it, it's gonna look like art when the painting's on the wall. It's just, they're all gonna look, I mean, they all would look amazing. So I highly recommend. They are on the bigger side, obviously, because, you know, to get the detail and, I'm not even being careful with those ones. You know, you obviously are, yeah, you have to sacrifice. Either if you want it smaller, you're gonna have to cut out less detail. And get away from me, cat. He is trying to play with his mouse right under my chair. I am not having that. Oh dear. See, then I start getting distracted. Um, oh jeez. So yes, so no DMCs, one through 35, which I feel like, okay, the diamond art people, they are missing out on a lot of amazing colors. If you Google DMCs number one through 35, there are some beautiful colors, especially like the purples and the greens and the grays. I mean, I, they're all amazing. So yeah, diamond art people, get on that. You need to get with the DMCs because you're missing out. I mean, you could have so many more amazing pieces. Oh, geez. Ah, with those. So, ooh, there's a lot of little trashy bits in that one. So, that was the end of the bag. So, okay. Well, that was a lot of three tens because I knew there was going to be. I think three ten is the color that I needed the most of. I needed. Uh, almost 14,000 three tens. So yeah, that's, that's a lot. Oh no, 
3865 I needed 19,000 of. So, 310s are one of the second most. So, that is, let's see, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. 9 bottles of 310. Whew. Wait a minute. That is not Oh, fell down. See, trying to trick me. That's why I got to double check the colors before I start pouring them in. So, um, if anyone is interested in how I went about configuring the size of, um, you know, from cross stitch pattern to diamond painting, um, you know, I could maybe make a video in the future. I know there's a lot of videos out there, so, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse or anything, but, um, I could definitely do that. That's a pretty color. <clears throat> what is that? There's like, it's like a broken piece of plastic or some other thing in there. Interesting. Okay. So I gotta find the right. Oh, okay. So that one, I don't have a second bottle already labeled. So 317. So we go, oops, go like that. 317. And put that in there, and that one in there. I think what first got me interested in the cross stitch was I was watching uh, Add More Zest, and she has a really big, beautiful pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and then I, there was an event going on called DIY DP May 23. And it was basically an event for, uh, cross stitch conversions where, you know, they were encouraging people to pull out your cross stitch conversion and, you know, work on it for the month. And, you know, there were prizes and, you know, other stuff involved. And at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to watch this. I'm, I'm not going to be enabled because I don't need any more diamond paintings. I mean, I only started diamond painting in March and, you know, I have, I think I have like 10 in my stash, which I know is not that many, but they're all like big canvases from Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club. And I have a few uh, also from Crafties. So... Maybe I have like 15. It's hard to keep track. Um, <laughs> so I can see how people get stashes of 100 or more. If I did that, my husband would probably kill me. So uh, I'm not even going to attempt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I passed 315. <gasps> Seriously. See, I wasn't paying attention, but luckily I didn't kit up things in the wrong bags. Oh my gosh, because that would have been, that would have been, I probably would have noticed it when I was using Pattern Keeper and noticed the color was like way different, but still, that's, that's not good. That's one thing about the, the art dot, like the, the bottle storages that are kind of hard because you can't sometimes see if anything is in the bottle. If, well, you know, while you're just kind of looking real quick. I mean, you could kind of look from the bottom to make sure, but yeah. So, oh, seriously. Smooth. Like we used to say as kids, smooth move, X lax. <sighs> so, uh, yes, I started diamond painting in March. And like I usually do when I find a new craft, I abandon everything else and I throw myself into it uh, head first because that's what I do. Um, so I had already kind of been getting burnout with my previous 
Craft, which was um, kind of a mixture of zentangling, you know, doodling, drawing patterns, and some collage and glue booking. And if you don't know what glue booking is, it's, you know, you're basically just gluing stuff down and it's super fun and addictive. Um, and I have a ton of, you know, paper and magazine cutouts to prove it. <laughs> um, so I had kind of been getting a little bit of burnout with those two. And, you know, you just, you're watching YouTube as you do. And you come across, you know, little shorts and little videos or people. Okay, what? Okay. And somehow, I don't know how diamond painting came by, but maybe I lingered too long on an ad or something. And I watched one person and I was like, well, that's kind of, that's kind of interesting, but that's a little fiddly. I don't know about that. And my mother-in-law had done some diamond painting and, you know, she had said, you know, oh yeah, it's fun. And I'm like, no, that's not very creative. I, I don't know about that, you know, because in my mind, you know, it's, was not, you know, you're basically, you're, you're doing someone else's art. So in my mind, I was like, well, no, that doesn't, how is that fun? You're basically just coloring in someone else's thing. And then I quickly realized, no, it is a lot of fun actually. Cause you know, you're getting to make fun little pictures and well, in my case, fun, big pictures. And I ordered, you know, one of the little, you know, chibi ones off of you know, Amazon discount site and the quality was not good by any means, but I liked the, the process of it. And so then my mom and I had gone to Joann's and they had a bunch of diamond paintings there and they had some diamond art club, you know, they have a few, at least they did. I don't know if they still do but they had a few diamond art clubs and I was like, okay, that, you know, that's supposed to be one of the good ones. So, you know, I have a coupon, let me try this. And so I got abstract cat and I, it's a square. And I was like, oh, I like squares so much better than the rounds because the rounds, you know, have cats. I have myself. Um, it just, you know, they get, dirt and hair and dust and sleeve dust. So for me, I was like, oh, I like the squares way more because you're not, you know, you're not, I don't feel like you're not trying to like keep the canvas as cleaned off as with the rounds because with the rounds, you know, you have that sticky part of the canvas and it just, for me, it just attracts everything. And so I've been just, you know, I try to only get squares, but I do have some rounds that I couldn't, oh jeez, couldn't get in, you know, squares, but I much prefer squares. I like the, the more finished look. I like the fact that the canvas isn't sticky and, adhesive still. I feel like with the round, you really should seal it just to keep hair and dust off of it. But with a square, I feel like you have a little bit more leeway and a little bit more, you could probably not seal it and it would be fine. So come on, quit hopping. goodness. Oh, they are. Oh, geez, Louise. Oh, oh man. I should have. Well, it took me. Well, how many bottles before I spilled? I mean, I guess that's not that bad. Eh, what are you doing, cat? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's 
be awkward together, shall we? This is where one of those little vacuums that probably doesn't actually work could be helpful. Does anyone have one of those little drill vacuums? Because in instances like this, I can see where it would be helpful, but like, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to vacuum up off my floor because that just seems like it would be a disaster with dirt and food crumbs and cat hair and who knows what else is on the floor. So. Okay, come on. Come on. Go in there. Go to your home. Go to your home. Oh my goodness. Okay, almost there. I can not spill it again. There we go. Okay, well. Let's see. Okay. 415. Oh, another gray. Oh, that's going to need a second bottle. One labeled, so let's put this lid on the bottle before I spill it again. So, 415. So, what does everyone else do while you're diamond painting? Do you, do you actually watch when people are kidding up or doing whip and chats, or do you just kind of work and lurk because I am a worker and a lurker. I normally don't comment on people's videos like unless you know something really strikes me and I think I have something hilarious to add. Um, but normally I don't watch the videos. I use them more as podcasts so I don't feel like I'm just sitting in my house alone while my children are playing video games at night. So, or my husband's, you know, watching TV or playing video games or whatever else he's doing. It's not, you know, sometimes you don't really want to listen to that stuff. So that is how I do. But I would like to try listen to some audiobooks or um, I haven't done podcasts in a long time. I, I like audiobooks because you can get more involved in the story. Um, but I'm also cheap, so I don't really want to be out buying a bunch of audiobooks. So Luckily, our public library system is pretty decent. I mean, we have a big um, digital database where we can access audiobooks, digital, you know, ebooks from. Oh my gosh, these are jumping everywhere. Oh, that one went over there. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to wait for new releases. You can try to get on the list like as soon as it gets announced that it's going to be coming out in like six months. And so hopefully you can get on the, oh my gosh, hope, hopefully you can get on the list and, you know, be one of the first 500 people. But sometimes you got to wait a while. So if that's the only downside to doing the library, but you know, it's free. So you get what you pay for. Well, technically my pack dollars pay for it. So 
it isn't actually free. But, so. Ooh, that one. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. So, oh dear, no. <sighs> Yeah, so I live in Washington State, not DC, and our our taxes are, I feel like our taxes are higher than other places, but I could be wrong because I've only ever lived here, so it's hard to, to know for sure, but we have our county, I think it's almost 10% sales tax. So, oh, the cat is trying to join me. Oh, see, he sees the plastic. Um, our sales tax is almost 10%, or maybe it even is 10%. I try not to look because it's depressing. Um, you know, and then we have our property taxes, which keep going up, up, up. COVID times, my God, they were, they were saying our house was worth like twice as much as we paid for it six years ago. And it's like, yeah, everybody's like, sell your house, sell your house. It's like, well, if I sell my house, where the heck am I supposed to live? Because if I sell my house, there's no way I can buy a new house. Because if my house is worth, is that the same one? I think it is. If my house is worth twice as much as I paid for it, then it's going to cost twice as much for a different house. So that's not really, that's not really going to fly. And we kind of have a, unique situation um, uh, because when we were just thinking about moving, we decided that we were going to sell our house and my mom was going to sell her house and we were going to all buy a house together. So, because she's getting older and after my dad passed away, she really didn't need a three bedroom, two bathroom house um, all to herself. Uh, and she's also had some, some medical issues and she's losing her eyesight. And so we knew at some point she's gonna need more care. Um, and so we decided that we would try to find a house that had a, like a mother-in-law suite. And we did. Um, and so she has her own kind of little apartment and downstairs. And so she lives with us. And so if we were to try to buy a new house, we would have to find a new house that fit our current lifestyle. And there aren't a lot of houses with mother-in-law suites that don't, you know, require somebody to go up, you know, a giant flight of stairs. Like, cause there's a lot of places that have, you know, a mother-in-law or a, or a little mini, you know, apartment or something. But a lot of times it's, you know, like above a garage or, something and it's like no that that would not work because we we couldn't do that that's she can't go up a giant steep flight of stairs and so the stairs that she only oh, has to go up to come upstairs is only like four or five stairs and they're they're not super steep so so yeah luckily our property taxes did go down a little bit this year so that was, that was nice, but they still are like, seem way too high. And our gases, our gas tax is ridiculous. They think, I just read an article that said that we now have the most expensive gas in the nation, like above California and New York and all those other places that you would think it would be more expensive. So that's kind of depressing. So I just try not to even make eye contact with the price when I get gas because, I mean, what are you gonna do, not drive? We don't live somewhere, we live in more of a, a rur rural, 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 <laughs> I never can say that word, right? Uh, a more non-city area and uh, we don't really have a good like bus infrastructure. So if we were trying to get places on the bus, it would take us probably five times as long to get anywhere. 
So that's a really no-go for all of us. So, all right. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how long this is taking. With all this, if I didn't have the static, I'd be done with this section. I still have two more containers full of drills. So, hopefully, maybe though, the rest of these are a little calmer. We can hope. Those ones went okay. So, I'm using some of my, my Pyrex to hold my supplies because what good is collecting something if it's just going to sit there and collect dust and get forgotten about? I haven't purchased any in quite a while. Some people want so much money for things that are, you know, chipped and stained and damaged. And it's like, no, I don't, I don't want it. I'm not paying that much for that, and I don't really, I don't really want it that bad. So, okay, here we go. Oop, he's cat hair. So, let's see. So I am going up to number six. Oh my gosh, six forty-six. That is where I am at my one third mark. And I will stop, regroup, maybe cry a little bit from all the static that I'm encountering, and then work on the second batch. So, oh my, oh, seriously, dude. Wow. Yes, please follow me for more tips and tricks about what not to do while you're trying to kit up your diamonds. I can't even blame it on my kids or my husband or even the cat, really. It's like, this is all me. That's just sad. Oh. I did actually remember to put down a, a mat so all of the diamonds didn't go into the tiny little cracks of our dining room table because it's, it's like a farmhouse table and it has these, you know, seams where the the wood rustically comes together uh, but the problem is some of them are quite wide they're wide enough to get things like you know food and crumbs and paper and craft supplies stuck in between them but not quite wide enough to actually get them back out so if anyone comes over just like well this is what the table looks like um, you don't like it, don't eat. Don't sit at the table. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was oh, a rogue blue friend. Oh, I'm just noticing that my printer, I think there's something wrong with my printer. It has like every, on everything it prints in like one specific spot, it does like a weird wonky line like it I don't know like there's something something happens like it just gets bumped or there's something wrong and I don't know anything about printers but it's always in the same spot of anything I print there's like a little spot so I can tell on some of my labels where that wonky spot is and it's just trying not to let it bug me because I'm not going to reprint them because <laughs> I'm, I'm a little lazier than that so it's just annoying enough okay 543 oh my gosh I can see the finish line in this container so I will definitely have to get myself a little snacky snack or something when I'm done with this. Ooh. Come on. Get out of there. Okay. 
Getting close, getting close. So right now I have two whips in progress, two works in progress. If you don't know what a whip is and you think I'm talking about torture devices, I'm not. I have a square kit and I have a round. So the square, well, they're both diamond art clubs. Square is Gethsemane. I had to Google how exactly to pronounce that because I always mangle it. Um, and it is Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. Oh, the cats are fighting. Uh, and it is a Mandy Manzano, so it's got that, you know, signature stained glass look to it, and it's it's really pretty. I'm I'm really happy, and the drills are fitting together so nicely, which is a plus. Um, but it is what what's the size? I think it is fifth. Oh, these are going all. Oh, it is a 56 and I buy almost 93. It is a long puppy and I am almost to the halfway mark. So that's exciting. I'm hoping to maybe do a, a whip and chatty rant with that one, um, as well as my round is Jasper C, also by Diamond Art Club. And I think it's like 50 something by 70 something. I'm not entirely sure the exact dimensions. Um, and that one is actually kind of similar to this project that I'm doing and that it's more of an abstract, oh my gosh, design. So, but it's slower, it's slower going because it is around and I don't feel like they line up as nice than the squares do. And you know, I'm trying not to be a perfectionist because it's not about the outcome. It's not like it's going to go hang in a national museum or anything like that. I mean, but you know, you spend time on it. You do kind of want to enjoy the process and you do want to, you know, like what it looks like just in case you decide that, um, you know, in case you want to hang it up or something. So... Let's see. So that one, I just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not enjoying the round as much as the square. So, which kind of surprises me. I'm surprised I like the fiddlier. Well, no, I'm not because look what I'm doing. And I've only been diamond painting for like five months. I'm like, let's take on a really big project. Stop it, cat. Oh my gosh, they are fighting right in the windowsill and if they fall, they're gonna land on my storage container and then there's going to be some swearing from me. Oh, they're gone. Ah, yes, so we had a, we did have a health scare with our, one of our cats, our gray cat, Sharky. He had been having some bathroom problems you know, from the backside. And then one morning he woke up and he harfed down his food and he just puked it all up. And then we waited a little bit and gave him some more food, just like a little bit. And he just instantly puked it up. And it was like, okay, I guess we have to go to the emergency vet because he had had an issue with uh, crystals in his urine before. And they said, if he, you know, has this symptom, this symptom, he was also going in and out of the litter box uh, without really doing anything. So I had to take him to the urgent care vet, which, you know, it's $130 just for the initial visit, which, you know, they just, they get you because you love the damn pets so much. But long story short, uh, they didn't find, they did, you know, x-ray, there was no blockage. Oh, seriously. There was no blockages. So he gave him some fluids. They gave him some anti-nausea meds. They gave him some probiotics. So, you know, $800 later, it's like, oh, 
yeah. So it's nothing like trying to give a an animal medicine that does not want the medicine. So my husband's really good about it. He can just grab the cat, squirt it in his mouth, and be done. But it's like the cat just knows that it's me and I'm awkward, and so it just you know it puts up a fight and rolls and twists and licks and yeah. So I think today, today is his last day of medicine, thank goodness, because three times a day, man, that's that's hard, especially if you forget and you're like, oh crap. So it's like afternoon before you remember the first dose and then you don't want to give him too much because you don't want to make him sick and then puke all the medicine up and then you're, you know, just in a world of hurt. So, oh, this is a fun color. So... Oh my gosh, I am getting clumsier as I go. That is not a good thing. So. Being sick has not affected his energy levels, that's for sure. He still likes to meow at 3 a.m. and claw at closet doors and make random noises. So. He's every cliche that you see on TikTok of cats meowing and doing things that are naughty and looking right at you while they're doing it. Oh. It's like, could you not do that? No, please don't do that. Please get off the table. Please don't knock that on the floor. Oh dear, nope. I need like a little non-skid mat or something for the bottom of this. Oof. Oh my gosh, one more bag in this set. And we are good to go for the next batch. Wait, 646. Okay. And we are ending on a lovely gray. One of my favorite colors. All right, okay, I will put all these extras away in the extra bonus layer, um, and I will be back for part two. So come back, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you again very soon. Big awkward hugs to you crafty peeps, goodbye.